Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Words, my brethren, all around the world watch this video. Hope you're having a great day today as you're tuning in. Do yourself a damn favor, hit the subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. Uh, interesting news in the heavyweight division. Um, this came out yesterday, or a couple days ago, two days ago, on the 17th. Plot twist. Big plot twist in the heavyweight division, okay? So... If you guys saw my last Anthony Joshua video, I basically just, it was a video about my observations based on like the interviews and uh, on the zone when I, you know, when it was the Canelo Rocky Fielding fight. I was just saying, man, I'm, I'm looking at the way AJ's talking. I look at the way he's looking at the wrong arena. And I say, damn, I think the allure of fighting in America is finally like really, really, really getting to him. And it's funny because on, on that video, I, I, I got a lot of comments from people saying like, oh, um, Oh, you know, you Americans think you guys are the biggest and new Americans think you're the media capital of the world. Why would you want to fight there? It's just another country to conquer, yada, yada, yada. Well, I was right because it was reported by BoxingScene.com that Jarrell Miller versus Anthony Joshua could be his next fight, all right? It's very likely, maybe, probably to be his next fight because Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing and, and parties involved on that side of the pond, they're talking about, they're talking about basically bringing Amir Khan versus Kell Brook to Wembley Stadium in place of the April 13th date that Joshua had, had had scheduled all this time so that Joshua can go fight Jarrell Miller probably sometime in the summer of 2019. That's, that's, that's the news. Um, so you got you to look at that. So now there are, there are a couple things worth, worth considering. Joshua slated to fight in uh, April, right? He's not going to fight in May because that's when Canelo's fighting and Eddie Hearn's not going to try to uh, interfere with that. And... Doesn't make sense to do that there. So he's got options. We we, we know that uh, White Chizora that's happening this weekend that that could be an option for him. So we're not saying it's not an option because it is. And this could all just be Eddie Heron blowing up people up people people's asses because it's that that's happened before and it, it won't it happened before it's happened before and it'll happen again because he's a promoter. That's what they do. They blow up people's asses. But um, what I'll say is this. I know I wasn't crazy when I look, 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 look at the interview. I just, I was, I was, look, he's in a fucking fight in America. He's in a fight in America next. And, you know, uh, I did the interview. I was there. I did the interview. You can go see it. It has like 50,000, 50,000 views from last year when Eddie Heron was saying, like, he wanted a Miller to fight um, Joshua. And, you know, what better way to come to America than to fight a guy like Jerome Miller? So now it's interesting because you had this fight with Khan versus Brooke that could happen on April 13th. And, to, and truthfully, I mean, I, I – I don't see like like, like I, I don't know. You gotta weigh it out because Brook and Khan is not gonna do eighty thousand. I, I I don't I don't see that kind of, being the kind of fight that would do that will sell eight thousand tickets, ninety thousand tickets. It might even struggle to sell seventy or sixty thousand tickets. I think it's still a big fight. You'll still get a good crowd, but is it like is it is it selling out Wembley caliber? Is that, is it that level of a fight? I'm not so sure anymore. You know what? Wait and see. If, what what we'll see if if they, if they actually like conscience to go through with it. If it is a kind of fight, but. Joshua fighting in America, first fight in twenty what, nineteen. I mean, we saw we had to look we, we had to look at it like this, right? We saw what Tyson Fury fighting in America did for his profile here in America. Tyson Fury has won the hearts and the minds of a lot of Amer American fight fans and sports fans. People, people people are fucking with Tyson Fury here in America. We like Tyson Fury. Um, some some you some people don't even say we, we like him probably just as much if not more than Deontay Wilder, straight up. Um, so with that being said, Anthony Josh is undefeated. He's got the most belts. He's got a, a crap ton of knockouts. Um, he's very marketable. You know, he's starting to really seep into the consciousness of the American boxing public. You, you're seeing him on ESPN. Boxing's being more regularly talked about on these mainstream media platforms, you know, like Fox, like ESPN. So, you know, things are looking up for boxing here in America. And you got to think, well, Anthony Joshua headlines a show at Madison Square Garden being the head the heavyweight champion of the world with the most belts um you know all it can do if he goes in there and fights a loud mouth like Jermaine, who will help himself to fight and beat him and knock him out it will raise his profile and it's the perfect fight for him in america Jerome miller is a game fighter he's gonna give anthony joshua some problems he can move he's nimble he has the highest punch output in the heavyweight division but he don't have that 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 punching power he don't have that punching power to really like hurt Joshua with just one shot. You know, he'll break you down over time, but he's not gonna hurt you to just that one shot. 
So um, it's a perfect fight for him. I know that. Her knows that. Matchroom knows that. So they're going to push for that fight. It's just a matter of is the timing right? Uh, what happens with Kukam Brook? But it's now in writing. It's now being discussed. So I knew I wasn't crazy when I made that video. I knew I wasn't crazy. So that's good to know. Um, you know, Anthony Joshua versus uh, Anthony Joshua's American debut. I, I, I'll put it to you like this, guys. Anthony Joshua's American debut, and it has the chance. It really, it really does have the chance to be one of the biggest boxing events in th that this country has seen in a very, very long time. And that's not overrating how popular Anthony Joshua is, but you got to understand once once he signs that contract to fight Jerome Miller, the way it's going to get marketed is this way. They're going to say, well. This guy is this undefeated champion. They're going to show him with all the belts. They're going to show his record. And people look at that record. He's got like, what, 22 fights with 21 knockouts. So they're going to see that record, and they're going to be intrigued. They're going to see him on ESPN. You're going to see him on uh, all these different shows. And it will be a massive deal. It will be not just a fight. It will be an event. It will be an event. The Brits, like, a lot of British people didn't come for Rocky Feeling because Rocky Feeling don't, don't, doesn't have a fan base that's like that. But I'm telling you right now, the Brits came out. From, the, the British came from all the way from England to freaking um, California for Fury, okay? And, and I like Fury, but I don't know if he got that same type of fan base that Joshua has. Je, you know, I don't think he has that type of fan base. So, and New York is closer to the UK than it is to um, California. It's a, it's a shorter flight. So, shorter flight, bigger name. If you thought Fury in in in, in, in LA was crazy, just wait. You, you like these Brits will all of them will go on holiday. They'll all go on holiday. They'll all make the trip to New York. You'll see British flags everywhere, and uh, it'll be a UK invasion of, of, of Madison Square Garden. Mark, mark, mark my words and take it to the bank. Um, and it'll be it'll be one of the biggest events. Mark my words. It'll be one of the biggest events that Madison Square Garden has seen for boxing in a long time, you know, a long, long time, because it's heavyweight boxing. It's heavyweight champion. But his American debut, you know, he's got UK on lock, um, fighting a, a New York native. You know, I'm just saying, it has it has a really big chance to, 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 to do crazy, 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 crazy numbers. Crazy event, crazy uh, atmosphere. It's something that I would consider going to myself just as a, as a fan, just to take it all in. So, um, yeah, man, just wanted to get that out there. Uh, Eddie Hearn, considering Joshua Miller for his next fight, not April 13th, but it's for his next fight, which could t take place probably in June uh, or maybe even later than that. So, uh, yeah, um, we've been talking about this fight for a long time here on True School Sports, ever since I did the Eddie Hearn interview with Jarrell Miller. And um, I'm just saying, man, it, 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 it's, it's close to becoming reality. So uh, let me know what you guys in the comments down below. Like, what do you think about Anthony Joshua's American debut? Like, how big of an event do you think it'll be? Because I think I made some pretty good points. Like, we saw the kind of turnout Fury had, and they fought in California. Okay? This is in New York City. This is closer to England. This is Anthony Joshua. Okay? Debut in America. All right? This is big stuff. I think it, I think it has a chance to be one of the biggest events to happen in America, boxing-wise. Um in a very, very, very long time. So uh, that's my opinion. You can give me yours in the comments down below. But like I say in every video, you know, you know, you know just like take the time to subscribe, do the good stuff. And like I say in every video, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.